Welcome back in Advise My Style. I'm here again with my mom who came to visit me in London. And today we're going out to see which theater you want to go to? Mamma Mia! Mamma Mia! I'll do her makeup. This was actually very requested, so I'll deliver. The older you are, the longer the eyebrows. So I comb them down, then I'll trim them and I'll also pluck them a bit because we want to apply a lot of makeup and my mum has dry skin everything would crease up so I need to layer it therefore I'm applying a BB cream from La Roche Posay this is high trend BB cream that will be as a primer you wanted to know how to put a lot of makeup on a mature face because there must be lots of you that want to put you know more evening out makeup this will be an experiment for me as well because i'll apply quite a lot so let's see what happens two pumps of tin miracle number five all over her face because this will give her a golden glow and it's a very moisturizing foundation as well the only part that needs to be powdered, I'm using Yves Saint Laurent's pressed powder, are her eyes because otherwise I won't be able to apply eyeshadow on and usually eyelids get really oily so I need to dry them out and set the thin layer of foundation I applied previously. I promised you that I'll do really dark makeup so I'm using Maybelline's Big Eye Liner that I never used before. I went so much out here that I can connect it, look up to the lower part, but just on an outer corner. I still don't think if, if I apply it all over that would drag the eye too much downwards. Now blend, blend, blend everything and you can totally pull it here on the brow bone because when she opens the eye open you need to have darker here if you want to have cat's eye just pull this really up 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 blend lower part with a smaller brush this needs to be really precise because here on the middle you need to have a thin line that goes thicker in the end but connect here up so pull it up 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 first of all this eyeliner is terrible oh my god this stuff is so hard to work with i'm using an orange eyeshadow do you know we go all in today you request that we do crazy makeup my mom's funky anyway she's far more funky than i am i think the most important thing is to cover this part of an eye that is white you see here is white so i'll apply 24 7 glide on eye pencil from urban decay look down 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 try not to close the eye try not to close it this is very uncomfortable but it will make a huge difference you see the difference now look how more glamorous an eye it, it looks a bit more closed this is what we want to achieve, you know, make more almond shaped eye. I'll set this eyeshadow with Kiko Milano's green. Close it. Green eyeshadow that I tap on and it will stick on a pencil, hopefully, because it's a really bad pencil anyway. But look, green and orange, I told you, all in. When you apply fake eyelashes, you really need to pull the eyelid up because it's hooded here that the eyelashes will go totally underneath open and then squeeze this part like here you need to squeeze them together with the other part of a pencil it's dark I just go over so here first I feel my mom's eyebrows on the start I make them thicker here because this will make the arch appear higher I go up, up, up. This here totally needs to be filled because the eyebrows here don't grow. And then I go on an outer corner. Upper, upper, upper corner. Upper, you see here, upper corner and I pull them down. Just 
clean the lower part. I see this so many times. You never clean lower part. Close it. And when you apply eyeshadow here, look up, it will definitely fall down. It will definitely stick here if you have hooded eyes. It will just go over. So clean it. I'm a bit struggling because my mom never wears makeup so she blinks and I can't apply a color here but you really need to apply color here on the start open if she would have key the color on the start black color here it would make a perfect perfect round wing peachy pink blush on her cheekbone because this will pull the face up here this is where your focus is when you look in her face and we also tone down the light that is not overexposed so you see really how the makeup looks like i'm using l'oreal's lip liner couture in 302 close it this is a very natural natural flesh tone liner it doesn't suit her now totally but i want to go over her lips now i'll just draw them and then we put more warm lipstick on. I just wanted to show you that this lip color would look amazing on a young girl. But because it's cold, it makes her face a bit dull. So, open. I'll be applying orangey. It's a very warm toned lipstick from Knievo. I need to put something really moisturizing on because if the more this is moisturized the less creases show oh my god this really didn't turn out like what i expected you know it's a cool color but no 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 i don't have any orangey color at home any orangey so i'm applying this coral red that i'll later blot and make a lovely warm color on her lips this would look awesome on a young girl Do you see the color combination but it's a bit too radiant still i think so i'll just blot it it was an experiment <laughs> <laughs> thanks to my mom because she lets me do stuff she's like my guinea pig you know i just try stuff okay she never wears makeup First of all, I think this is really cool if she wears glasses on because then it's not so strict. She doesn't look so harsh. I would do makeup lighter actually. But with this, it's okay. A bit more funky hair as well. Whatever floats your boat. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you how to do it. Have fun and I'll see you soon. Ciao, ciao.